Welcome to How to Solve. Hey there! Welcome to another video. So for today, I'm going to teach you how you can fix your Google Storage page forever. Let's go! Do you always receive an email from Google Drive saying, Your storage is full. I know exactly how you feel because I've been getting that error message too. I receive it from Google Drive and Google Photos saying out of storage. Even better, we're getting emails saying that Google Photos has stopped backing up. And even an email on Gmail to say that Gmail doesn't work anymore. Worse than this though is that in every single message from Google, Google is just trying to get us to do one thing and that is to spend more money to buy storage and not really just buying storage but also a subscription storage so it's a monthly fee that you and I would have to pay for the rest of our lives but don't worry you and I are gonna fix this right now and we're going to clear Google storage in real time step by step without deleting everything and definitely without giving Google any money plus when those storage works again I'm gonna show you this system that I use to avoid it from happening ever again and to get free Google storage for life yes I know that's a bold promise but I think I can get you Google storage for life so stick with the video the first thing we're gonna do is to open Google one so type in one.google.com and this is where our storage is managed I'm gonna do this on a website or a desktop by the way just so it's easier to see on the screen link you can just follow along in Google one you can see right at the top your storage is full upgrade we're not gonna do that it's gonna ask us every time to point and try to buy storage but if you go down to the first box here storage you can go ahead and click on that and then you will see this eye icon that brings up this little mini menu called view storage details let's click on that and we can see that on my account all 15 gigs has been used in google photos now i know yours might look differently you might have bigger files in gmail or google drive but this is a place to find out where the most storage is being used Let's go back and there's another box in here as you can see it says clean up space so if I click on view that brings up some options of the things that we can delete like this first one here emails and trash if we click on review and clean up these are all the emails in our deleted folder we could just go to the bottom here on the top right hand corner then click on delete all let's scroll down to the section which says large photos and videos you can select them individually by clicking on the little tick boxes one by one or you can check this box to select all items but i've got a way to do this without deleting your photos and videos and here it is so you have to go to photos.google.com slash coda management so this will open up a page where we can manage Google storage, especially in our Google Photos. So we can scroll down and review and delete things like large photos, blurry photos, and that might help. But the big option for us is down here, recover storage. Convert existing photos and videos to storage saver. You might know this already, but there are two ways to upload and sync your photos on your phone with Google Photos. And that's to first, to upload them as original size or second, storage saver size. And it's really easy to check. Firstly, you go to Google Photos and you click on your avatar. Beside it, there's like a settings or a button for the settings. And then here you will see the option backup and sync. And if you click on that, you can scroll down to these options at the bottom. So the first one is upload size. So if we click on that, it gives you the two options to choose original quality or storage saver quality. I would choose storage saver quality. I've been using this for years and honestly, I can't really tell the difference. And the original files, if you want to keep them, they're still on your phone. So don't have to worry. Let's go back to manage storage in Google Photos and we're going to click on learn more. This will bring up another window recover storage so 
recover some storage by switching existing photos and videos to storage saver quality. If we tick this box, it's going to take all of the photos and all of the videos and make them all storage saver size. So it kind of crushes everything in your photos down to the smaller size. I understand that compressing cannot be undone. You have to click that. Then we're going to click down here, compress existing photos and videos. Now, don't forget your original photo files are on your phone. This is just for the photos and videos in Google Photo. Now, don't panic if you feel like, oh, nothing really happened. I did all of that, but I'm still out of storage. Let's go back, scroll down to recovery storage, and it says compressing. This may take several hours. So, yep, Google is still compressing and making all those videos and photo files smaller. It's going to take some time. So let's give it a bit of time and while it's doing that, I'm going to show you my system to stop this from ever happening again. So what I do, I'm going to create a Google account just for our photos and videos. I'll open up a new window, maybe an incognito or you can open a new private window so that you're not logged into Google at all. So go up to the right hand corner and click sign in and then on that sign in page down on the left hand side, there's like a uh, create account so you've got some options here i'm gonna go for work or my business and this is the page where we're gonna make up a username for our photos account you can call it something like lovely photos may 2025 or 05 2023 obviously you can call it anything you want and you can actually make new one of these every month or every year if you want to and then i'm gonna click on next now we can fill in this other detail to help us recover this account so now we have a google account that we can use just for our photos and videos we are now going to go to google photos on the phone and on the top right hand corner we're gonna click on avatar and we're gonna click on the little pull down menu next to your account name which brings up this menu we're going to add another account now you have the sign in page in here so we'll just put in our brand new photo account say my lovely photos may 2023 and then we'll put in your password and now we have google photos in our phone but again this is just a new photo account i can't see the photos on my phone now we have to click on the avatar on the right hand corner again and choose my lovely photos and it gives us the option to do not back up or turn on backup. I'm going to turn on backup now and if I click on the avatar, you can see it says backup is on, getting ready to back up. Basically, it is now going to back up your phone to this new whole Google account that's just for, for your photos. So that way, you can keep it completely separate from Gmail and Google Drive. And also, you can create one of these every year or every month if you want. While it's doing this, do not forget to go to Photo Settings. Click on Backup and Sync. Look for Upload Size. They're already here by default. As you can see, Upload Size, Original Quantity. We don't want that one. So I'm going to click on Storage Saver. And then when we click back, it's now going to upload photos and videos at that slightly smaller size. So it's going to take longer to fill up the 15 gigabytes again. There is one more thing that we can do to make our lives so much easier for us. And that's to share photos from this account with our personal Google account. Or I'll still be able to see these photos without them taking up storage on personal Google account. So if you click on the avatar again on the top right hand corner, we go to photo settings. If we scroll down here all the way to the bottom, you can see it says partner sharing. Automatically share photos with a partner? Well, I'm going to share them with myself. So if I click on that option, a better way to share with your partner. So get started. All we do is type in our personal Gmail address in here and then all of the photos and the videos will be shared with me but, but the photos are still being stored on their separate account or any other separate accounts. I've been running in this system for about a year now and it's definitely working. Let's go back to Google Photos, manage storage again because I know you guys are dying to see if this really works and yes, look at this, we did it! about one year of storage left. 
the 15 gigs maxed out storage we now have cleared storage in our google drive because we've cleared out some space in google photos so yep that's it that is how we fix your google photos or google storage space forever please like and subscribe for more content we'll see you in the next one